Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you my recipe on how I prepare yam porridge. This recipe is all you need to make the most delicious Nigerian yam porridge and I promise you that your family will keep asking for more. I hope you guys enjoy watching. My name is Oge and you're welcome to my kitchen. Let's get started. I'll start by cooking my already washed meat, but before that I'll have to season the meat. And to season, I went in with some chopped onion, I added roughly blended peppers, salt and seasoning cubes. Feel free to use any protein of your choice for this. Feel free to use meat, chicken or fish, whichever one works. After adding my seasoning, I'll give it a good stir, cover and steam without adding any liquid for about 5 minutes. It has released some stock after about 5 minutes. I'll go in with more water at this point. Enough to cook the meat until it becomes soft, until it is very tender because I want it to be really soft. And then I will give it a gentle stir, cover and continue to cook. Over here I have my peppers and onion. I have some scotch bonnet pepper and this is hot pepper. Always use as much pepper as you can tolerate. I will proceed to divide and slice my onion into my preferred sizes. And then using my manual blender or grater, I will grate my peppers roughly. If you're stopping by for the first time today, hello, a warm welcome to you. My name is Oge. Kindly consider subscribing to be a part of this amazing family. And also turn on the post notifications so you're among the first to get notified whenever I put out a new video. If you're a lover of easy, delicious and healthy recipes, then this is the place to be. Kindly turn on the bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I post amazing recipe videos. You definitely get value for your time here. This is my yam, which also happens to be the main ingredient for today's recipe. I also have a bowl of water. I'll proceed to divide my yam before peeling and cutting it up into my preferred shapes or sizes. Whenever I'm peeling yam, I love to keep a bowl of water close to me because most times the yam usually change color if you don't dip it inside water immediately after cutting it. So I'm going to cut and dip it inside water because I don't want to run the risk of it changing color. Shout out to you all my amazing and returning subscribers who always take out time from your busy schedule to come watch my videos. You guys are the real MVPs. You guys hold a special place in my heart. You are the reason why I'm here on YouTube and I'm so grateful for having you all here. Thank you for all you do for me. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for the comments. I see all your share of love and I'm so humbled. Thank you guys for all you do for me. I've got the best subscribers. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you for always coming through for me. into my clean pan and allow it to heat up once it heats up i'll go in with my chopped onion and i'll fry for about two to three minutes until it becomes fragrant next i'll go in with my roughly blended peppers i'll give that a good spell until it combines properly with the onion and palm oil and i'll let it fry for about two minutes after about 2 minutes, I'll go in with my seasoning and I added crayfish powder, seasoning cubes and salt. I'll start to combine properly and I'll continue to fry for an additional 3 to 5 minutes. Feel free to season to your taste. Use your favorite spices but be careful when adding the spices because we already have a very flavorful meat stock. Except if you're not using meat stock. I added my meat stock at this point, gave it a gentle stir and I allowed it to cook for about 5 minutes. 
After about five minutes, I went in with my wash jam. Kindly follow me on other social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, on Instagram, and TikTok. And the name to search for, the handle to search for is Oge Anyoko. Oge Anyoko on all social media platforms. So it'll be very, very easy for you to find me. I reintroduced my cooked meat at this point, gave it a good stir, covered and allowed to cook. I added enough water to cook the yam because the yam is very dry. So I'll let this cook until it is soft. While my yam is cooking, I'll go on to prepare my vegetables. I'll be using two different vegetables for this recipe. The first one I have here is green, which is popularly known as African spinach here in Nigeria. I'll start by taking the leaves out from the stalk before proceeding to wash it properly in salt water and then I'll slice it. The second vegetable I'll be using for this recipe is scent leaf which is known as Nchuaun. I'm also going to wash that properly off camera and then slice it. If you've watched up to this point it shows you're enjoying the recipe and I'm so grateful to have you here. Thank you for clicking. Please don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up and also share it out. This is what my yam porridge is looking like after cooking for about 12 minutes. It's looking absolutely delicious and it's giving everything it's supposed to give. Kindly comment one word for this porridge in the comment section. I already have some sauce or should I say porridge in here but I want it to be more. What is yam porridge without a lot of porridge? I'll add some of the yam into my mortar, pound it and reintroduce the pounded yam back into the pot. This will help thicken it and give me a lot of porridge. I'm going to add my oyibin at this point, which is known as okbaka or oba. This will also add a very rich flavor and taste to this dish. I'll give it a good stir until it is well incorporated into the pot, cover, and I'll let it cook. If you've watched up to this point, kindly comment yummy porridge in the comment section. After cooking for about 3 minutes, this is what our yummy porridge is looking like. The porridge is almost ready at this point. I just have to go in with my vegetables. I'll add my green, which is African spinach, and my scent leaf, and I'll give it a good stir to combine properly. I'll let it simmer for about two minutes to avoid overcooking the vegetables. I present to you this delicious pot of Nigerian yam porridge. This is looking absolutely delicious. We've come to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed watching. It's time for me to dish this yumminess into my plate. Kindly like the video to get it to a wider reach. Leave me your beautiful comments in the comment section. Share this video to your loved ones and please subscribe to the channel if you're yet to do so. Thank you for stopping by and I would love to see you all in my next one. Bye!